You're watching Bite Me TV. This week's episodes are sponsored by Purely Gadgets and Premier Computer Solutions. Hi, I'm Keely and welcome to Bite Me TV. Now, a while back, Gary gave me a quick rundown of how to back up files and then basically left me to it, told me why I should back them up, and that was it. So today, I'm going to meet with him and find out how to back them up. That sounds like trouble. Hello. Thank goodness you're in. Right. Oh no. I've lost some files on my computer. I think my little sister's completely wiped them off and they're so important. But I'm busy. They're really, really, really important. And can you get them back and try and get them back or something? Can you just please come and get them back? You're not backing up, are you? No. Come on. Put but it down That doesn't there. help me losing my files. Are they important? Very important and I need them for work. Oh, you always say that, I need them for right. work, like you work. I do. Okay, so just go into the hard drive here. Okay. Well, where were they? They were on my desktop, and then I lost them. I think okay. um, my little sister was playing around with it, and she deleted all the files on there. So if we look there, what about... Is that them? Yes, so she's that's just them, moved that's them. them. Yeah, she's just moved them, I think. Okay, so... Well, how did they end up in there? I don't know, but... Well, I think you need to have a little chat with your little sister. Yeah, but God. Oh. Are you backing up? No. But we had a chat about this and you were like, yeah, 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 I'm going to do that. Well, you told me about it and you said that I needed to and I understand the logic in actually backing up, but you didn't show me, so how am I supposed to know what okay. to do? Okay, right. Well, I told you about it. you only need to back up all your new stuff and things that have changed, right? Yes. So you get that bit? I got that bit. Okay, right, and you've got a memory stick, so you're putting stuff onto that. Yes, yeah. occasionally. But are you occasionally? Like, what's occasionally? Monthly, weekly, daily? It depends. I, yearly. If it's how important oh. it is. So right. if there's something really important, then I'll put it on my memory stick. Otherwise, I don't. Is okay. that really bad? I think I'm going to show you how to do this properly. So okay. pull up a chair, and I'll show you what to do. I think we're going to have to get you into a routine and doing this properly, okay? So there's a bit of okay. software that will do that. Okay, so you've got the Mac, the PC. Principles yep. are the same, okay? You've got files on both, and you basically need to regularly back them up on something like a CD, or, which is over there, or onto an external hard drive. So are all three of these external hard drives? Yes, they are. And they're just different capacities. Okay. Um, one of them actually fits better in your handbag, I guess, than the others. That one, the Lego one. I like this one, it's Lego very pretty. One. It looks like a piece of Lego. It is actually. One of the nice things about this one is the more you get, you, you can, can actually stack them up. So they wow. become like a little tower. I don't know what, if you can make a little house out of it so or something. all of these are hard drives? Yeah, they, these are very portable, okay? So you've got okay. those. Um, and they all hold different amounts? Yep, that one's about 80 gigabytes. That one's 250 and that one there I think is also about 80. That one there is just much bigger. Okay, so that's something okay, you so wouldn't actually carry around with you. I probably you, wouldn't need one of these, would no. I? I don't have that much. Um, no, but that's good for backing up data. all like the, you know, all the Bite Me TV stuff, all the video, because that takes yeah. up lots and lots of room. The only thing with one of these is, you know what I'm like with losing stuff. Mm -hmm forever losing everything. If I put this in my handbag, there's quite a chance that it's probably never gonna be seen in there again. Like everything else, including my scripts. The scripts, yeah. Thankfully we don't need one of those today. Um, so what else can I do? Because if I lose it, then I've lost everything. You could do it online. So you could actually okay. go to a website. There's plenty of them around and you can actually upload your files to there. Some of them charge for it. Some of them give you a certain amount free and then you can just, if you need more, you can pay extra, or they actually give you extra software like, you know, like backing up software, so it will mm. automatically run it for you. And again, that's really good because then you don't have to worry about the compatibility between the Mac or the PC. You can just yeah. upload on either one of them. The only problem is, is that they're not gonna have the same capacity as so like that hard drive there. Okay, those, like that one there, that um, orange one, that holds 250 gigabytes, which you're that's, not going to really get online. That's basically everything on my computer. Yeah, that's probably about, say, 300 times the size of a CD. Wow. Yeah, so... 
Lovely. You know, you probably, yeah, that would hold everything. You've got a lot of photographs because you're doing a lot of your digital photography now. You're getting a bit yep. into the video, so that's really good. If you're downloading all the Bite Me episodes. Um, so that's really excellent. So you can back all of that up. The stuff that you can't get back, you don't want to worry about your music that was on CD that you've just put on, say, your iTunes or whatever, because if you need to get those back, you just put the CD back in. And although it's time consuming, you don't, you don't want to waste space, really. Okay. But, so you've got the online version, you've got your memory stick, and they're getting quite big in capacity as well. You can also use an iPod. Some of the iPods you can actually use as disk drives ah. as well. Yeah, so that That's would be good. a good one for you too. Um, so you can do any one of those. The principle behind all of them are exactly the same. You basically just need to choose your folder or your files that you want to back up, tell it when you want to back it up, which might be now, or you can tell it to run regularly every day, every week, every month, at a particular time, and away it goes. And all you've got to remember to do is leave the computer on, leave whatever you're backing up onto, like the external hard drive, plugged into it, and you're done. That's really good. Yeah. So now I know, I think I'm going to be the proud owner of this um, new Lego looking external hard drive. I was kind of wondering which bit of my equipment was going to go missing today since you so many have things. You three, that's just being greedy, so I think you can donate one to me seeing as I haven't backed up. At least up I've anything. still managed to hang on to my iPod Touch. Mm, not for long. So now I've got your, I need a USB lead I would yeah. take. Yeah. We'll get you one of those, but I'll show you how to actually set up the software. So, a lot of this software is actually the uh, very similar. So okay. all you've got to do is load it up. Now there's some free software, the software you can buy, and a lot of these, all these hard drives and actually all of that comes with actually a disk that actually has the software in it. Okay, not all of them might have software that you like, they might have special features. But what I've done is I've put on the website a whole load of software that you can download for free. And one that oh, I've been good. trying out lately is this one called Back to Zip. What it does, it just yeah. zips it all up and it puts it wherever I tell it to go. So I'm getting it to go onto my external hard drive. And it works the same as all the others. All we've got to do is just start it up. And what I just need to do is choose what folders I want backed up on this particular one. So I want my pictures, so I'm just going to click there. Mm. And I'm also going to back up my databases as well. Then I just tell it where I want it to go onto my external hard drive. And then I've got okay. the choice of telling it when to do it. There is a button here to back okay. it up now. Okay, okay. first time I back up is going to take a bit longer. But after that, all it's going to do is uh, remember to do all the ones that have changed or the new ones that you've put on. I can choose what schedule I want to do it. I can tell it to do it every 20 minutes. You know, there's a few options here, three hours, six hours. And you can actually tell it as well to do it on a particular day. I might say it to it, Friday, six o'clock. That's when I finished my work. And it just then goes okay. through and does it for me. Yeah, so nice and simple. There's a disc over there. It's compatible with your MacBook. So, so all you do is pop it in. Okay, I'll put this in. I'm going to go and make a cup of coffee whilst you have a go at that. Okay, all and right. then I'll have one. Milk, yeah. no sugar. Well, no sugar and cake. Cake, we like the sound of that. Well, I finally learned how to back up and it all makes sense now. I also got myself one of these. So just remember, it's really important and worthwhile to back up and you should do it about once a week. If you have any more questions, please visit our discussion board at bitemetv.com. Next week, we'll be looking at printing wirelessly. So until then, thank you for watching and see you next week on Bite Me. Bye bye.